Citizen Kane has long been considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest, film of all time. It's cherished by moviegoers and critics alike, and it holds a special place in the pop culture sphere. Its name has become synonymous with the best. You could go up to someone on the street and say, this bagel is the Citizen Kane of food, and they'd probably know what you're trying to say. Don't do that though, it sounds incredibly douchey. There are plenty of other industries that have their own Citizen Kanes. For example, in books you might have something like Moby Dick or Huck Finn. In music, you might have an album like Sgt. Pepper's by the Beatles. But what is the Citizen Kane of video games? That's right, this is still a video game channel. I'm not some movie nerd. In order to determine what the Citizen Kane of video games is, we first have to define what made Citizen Kane so good, how it was received upon release, and the legacy that it left. Released in 1941, Citizen Kane follows the death of Charles Foster Kane and a newspaper looking into his past, trying to find the meaning of his last words, Rosebud. The film was a critical success, but, and this is worth noting, it wasn't successful at the box offices. It failed to make back its cost and so it faded into obscurity for a while. It came back into the public eye in the late 50s when it was praised by French critics and thus began its renaissance. But what was so good about Citizen Kane? The film serves almost as a template for all the movies that followed it, and its lasting legacy can still be felt in films today. Orson Welles, the director and star of the film, had never directed a movie before, but the film serves as a masterclass in good direction. The BBC described the film as an encyclopedia of techniques, it showed so much promise for a directorial debut. Without Citizen Kane, the film industry would likely not be what it is today. Which now brings me back to the main question of this video. What is the Citizen Kane of video games? Well, I perused the internet and I've seen a few people offer up their suggestions. GamesRadar offered up a list of 25 games including Donkey Kong, SimCity, and Half-Life. A Reddit discussion from r slash gaming offered up Super Mario Bros, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Metal Gear Solid. And while all these games are influential in their own right, and some very good points were made in each argument, I want to make my own rubric for finding the true Citizen Kane of video games. Going back through my description of Citizen Kane, something that stood out is that Citizen Kane isn't praised for its acting. It's praised for its technicality, its mastery of the art of filmmaking, which was achieved incredibly on Wells' first attempt. Another thing I noticed was its sleeper hit-like life. The film didn't get the attention it deserved until 15 years after it came out. And the final thing to note is the legacy it left on everything that followed. Many of the arguments about the best games of all time provide a list of the games it inspired, but in terms of American cinema, Citizen Kane pretty much inspired everything in some way. Which finally brings me to what games fit this criteria, and what games don't fit this criteria. Let's start with Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros is widely considered one of the greatest games of all time. It also is considered to have ushered in the modern era of video games. The only problem with the criteria I laid out is that Mario was immediately successful, unlike Citizen Kane. The same can be said about The Legend of Zelda. It was massively influential, but also massively popular upon release. Honestly, the sleeper hit-like status is the harshest criteria, and one that I'd be willing to let slide, but for now, there are still other games to talk about. If we look a bit further into the 2000s, Valve's hit game Portal released to little fanfare. However, down the line a bit with the release of the Orange Box Collection, Portal went on to become one of the most beloved games of all time. It was impactful in some ways, especially to puzzle games. Hell, you can actually see its influence in the newest Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. There are some puzzles that are very reminiscent of puzzles straight out of Portal. But in the case of Portal, I don't think it was as influential as Mario or Zelda, or the final game I'm going to talk about. When I think of games that have impacted culture, both gaming and popular, there's one, wait, scratch that, two games that come to mind. Pokemon Red and Blue. Pokemon Blue and Red weren't immediately successful. 
Nintendo didn't think it would be as big as it became, so they only made a certain number of copies. The media wasn't really interested either, until later on when the hidden Pokemon Mew was discovered, which spurred some media interest and brought waves of prospective fans to the games. From the first Pokemon games, a media empire was born, much like the newspaper empire of Citizen Kane, but that's besides the point. From Pokemon spawned puzzle games, pinball games, a photography game, and an alternate reality mobile experience which has since dominated the world. Not bad for a game about capturing cute animals and balls and forcing them to fight each other. Not to mention that Pokemon has inspired multiple knockoff games and even found its way into World of Warcraft, one of the biggest MMOs of all time. Needless to say, I think Pokemon Red and Blue may be the Citizen Kanes of gaming. It fits all my criteria. Sleeper hit. Check. Technicality. For Pokemon stats and collection systems, I'd give it a check. Legacy? Is it possible to go anywhere in the world without seeing Pokemon somewhere? Of course it gets a check. I think Pokemon deserves the crown. Now before I wrap up this video, I do want to note something. I don't think that Pokemon is the greatest game of all time. I also don't think that Citizen Kane is the greatest movie of all time. I was forced to watch Citizen Kane as a kid and I actually found it rather boring. But looking back now, I can definitely see the influence that the movie has had. Just like looking back now, I can see the influence of Pokemon on the video game world. I just want to say this because I kind of want to separate the idea of Citizen Kane and Best because they're really two different things, one of which is way more subjective than the other. Now this is definitely a topic that is still up for discussion. Even the criteria I used are still up for discussion. But from the way I look at things, as great as games like Mario and The Legend of Zelda are, they haven't reached the places that Pokemon has. And trust me, they both tried their hands at the TV market. It did not go well. Oh boy, smooching time! Ah! Oof. Feel free to let me know what you think the Citizen Cam of video games is in the comments. Let's start some arguments. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you want to catch me live, I stream over at twitch.tv slash triceratops underscore junior three times a week. That's it, y'all. Peace out. I'll catch you on the flip side.